Good morning, my YouTube friends and family. I've gotten all kind of horsed up. Uh, I guess being out in this wind and the fluctuating of the temperatures and such. But anyway, we're going to do a little digging. I'm having a hard time getting used to the bucket with no teeth on it, but I like it. I've really enjoyed this little project here at the house. 
as I've told many of you many times, I do no commercial work. I only work for myself uh, around the house on rental property, property that I own. But I'm under no pressure here to get this done. We've had one paving company come by and measure everything. And they're just kind of getting started up, you know, for the spring. And they haven't got back with us yet on a price. I just found another paving company and we're going to call them, have them to come and give us a price. But I've really kind of enjoyed this and I'm digging with no teeth on the bucket because I'm trying to keep my bottom smooth. And I'm just trying to take this down about 9 or 10 inches, just right in there. Right here, you can see I'm just doing a real slow pull, cutting into this bank. I just really enjoy doing this, so I was showing you that, that cutting into that. But I'm trying to keep my bucket level and keep the ground smooth. This is really the first job I've really done using the... To walk green rotary laser. Here I'm going to cut into an edge again. Right here, and I'm just really trying to keep my bucket level with the ground. The DeWalt green rotary laser, the part that goes on the tripod, I have no quarrels with that thing. The receiver that's on the little grade stick, man, that thing is, it just needs some help. It only, it, it's just so sensitive and it has trouble. I, I just I can't really explain to you what the deal is, but um, it's just really hard to get that thing on level uh, to get it in that spot. Uh, I don't really know how to say it to you, but anyway, um, the Kubota BX twenty five D is just a really perfect size tractor for me because all of my projects are small and we have a lot of traffic coming around this driveway right here from time to time. Uh, right now we're kind of during the lunch time and it's a dead time, so there's not much uh, traffic coming, but having this small tractor in this area just is really convenient for me. A lot of my digging I do with this is in the backyards of my rental properties on sewer lines, putting in clean outs, things like that. I have one of the videos, uh, I think it's about my first video I made of this. The guy that was helping me was named Mark, and that video is at 4.4 million views, which is a pretty big deal for me. I would think, you know, Kubota might call me and just say, hey, why don't you come and use one of our 23S's, the newest one, and uh, make a video with that. But Kubota is such a big company, they don't care about me. But anyway, I just really love this BX25D. It's just a perfect tractor for me. The only thing, if I have a complaint with it, is the speed of, uh, of the hydraulics on it. The speed of the hydraulics are just really slow. I'll make a video one day, and I'll show you what I'm talking about on the receiver on the grade stick. Uh, it's just hard to get that thing like it's either saying uh, go down, go up. It's just so hard to get it in the center line of that thing. You can also see here that, you know, I'm just kind of pulling along, pulling my dirt back. I'm in kind of a tight little triangle. So I'm trying to keep all my dirt there. So what I, to kind of tell you what I started doing uh, I've, here I was digging on, say, the far right side, and then I came over and dug on the left side, left the piece in the middle so I had place to put my dirt. And then I would take the front end loader and haul my dirt out. And uh, so that's kind of the way I kind of got started digging, was that a way, was dig all the way to the far right side, then off to the far left side, always putting the dirt in the middle, then haul the dirt out, and then dig the middle part out because I just didn't have a lot of room. This is some really good dirt that I'll save here. I'll use it in a lot of places. Then there's, I would bring a load of gravel back with me from time to time. But here I am pulling the, the dirt back from the middle and I'll scoop it up, take it over there and put it in my pile.
it's just even the front loader and uh, the backhoe boom they're just very slow I don't know if they don't because of room or why the reason is that they just don't put two pumps on this tractor but it could really benefit from two pumps you see me here just pulling slow uh, just trying to keep my ground level keep it smooth working around that gas line you know a tedious dig like working around a line or something like that uh, it's really kind of enjoyable because it keeps you on your toes but you can kind of see how slow that boom works here I am just edging it out always dig from your top to your bottom dragging my dirt back just keeping the bottom smooth I guess you might say just playing a little bit see how pretty that looks right there where I just pulled that out and kept it smooth then I just periodically go through and just check kind of make sure I'm you know within that nine or ten inches there getting it out from the gas line where I can step it push it down that gas line was only about four inches in the ground I'm gonna have a really good pile of dirt right here one day when I need dirt now here I'm going to get a load of gravel and take it back I would periodically do this and I was just putting some gravel in the bottom of that just so I wouldn't have a pond and mud when it came a rain and I really don't know the height that the paving company's going to want it out so I'm just kind of putting a little bit in there and raking it out the, here I'm pushing my dirt pile over the 25D you know it's got good power in the hydraulics I don't have any complaint with that it, it's got a lot of power it's got all it needs because if you hook that bucket on something, uh, it'll pick the front end of the tractor up. I have before in digging in really hard ground, gotten a load of dirt in my front loader bucket and just leave it in there while I was digging in really hard ground to add some extra weight. But you can see here I'm digging now on the far left side, putting my dirt in the middle. And so when I dig over to the far right side, I put it in the middle, haul it out, and then, uh, and then the last part I dig out is that centerpiece. There's cutting a little side edge right there. And then I'll rake the bottom down, just try to smooth it out some. Now I'm in a really tight spot right here not to set this in the driveway. So that's one reason the little small backhoe works good for me. You see a car just go by, the traffic will start kind of rolling in here pretty, pretty soon. I like the looks of that, that good flat bottom. I'll take a load of gravel back over with me.
when they put that gas line in on the other side of the house, they told me they killed this one. But I didn't want to take a chance on it. So I just left it. After I get this done, dug out, I'll come back with that laser and I'll smooth it out better. Get it more on grade. And I really don't know what the blacktop people are going to want. I'm just doing this in case it rains. It won't be a mud pile. Well guys, that's going to end it today. And I won't bore you with any more of finishing that out. I'll wait till I get to the very end and make another video. Y'all have a blessed day. I just shut that off. It's been running since nine o'clock this morning. You can see it's five to six right now. And it's got the six amp hour battery in it. Still full. This thing here, no problems out of it. Works great. This could use some updating right here. I wish they'd come out with a new one and better. That needs some help. This is good.